Welcome. We are urban development think tank FabNeo for a better northeastern Ohio. Over these 20 slides, we will map out the direction this city should take to best position itself as a technological trailblazer through the 21st century and beyond by synergy, B2B interfaces, innovation, monetization, and collaboration. Even in these troublesome economic times, few cities have experienced the lows of Cleveland. Consistently shrinking in population and revenue, civic pride and public works, education and motivation, this fair city has sought an answer in many forms. Each purported savior has fallen short of its promise. New county building? Bamboozled boondoggled medical mart? Ameritrust Tower? More luxury condos! More vacancy! More luxury condos! More vacancy! More luxury condos! More vacancy! Foreclosure and demolition! Let us say that we love Cleveland. We really do. Looking beyond luxury condos, vacancy, and foreclosure, how can we make Cleveland a better city? Statistically, the population is dwindling. In 2010, it'll be zero. The scale at which city buildings are removed versus constructed tilts drastically towards destruction. The city is shrinking in humanity and physicality. Once we can all come to terms with this, we can move on. Then we can find real answers. Our answer, Cleveland 3.1, signifies the next step of social media and true democracy. Early on, the web was a highly dictatorial device. The power to change content rested in few people's hands. Now we are in the second generation, and the ability to add content is more democratic. However, social mediaites are still left trying to find a place in the real world. Cleveland can be the first city in the world to take the step into the third generation of internet tech. We seek to eliminate the notion of physical space. We will live our lives in cyberspace, and we dedicate ourselves faithfully to Cleveland 3.1. Citizenship will not be based on one's place on the map, but on one's place on the web. With a few simple keystrokes, a web surfer can take part in Cleveland society. Persons across the globe can make the decisions that matter, and we can reverse the downward trends of population and revenue in this burg. Our higher learning institutions have already presented projects through which technology can change Cleveland for the better. In Cleveland 2.0, citizens can perform tasks like checking bus schedules, answering online questionnaires, complaining on Cleveland.com, and compiling shopping lists on simple portable electronic devices. The plan is rooted within the information architecture of Web 2.0. But what of the physical world? Barren Ohio winters. Ice, sleet, snow, rain, the moisture. So much moisture. The steps toward physically decentralizing the central business district are dynamic, but with a little ambition and a lot of elbow grease, the project can reach completion by the July 1st, 2010 deadline. Unbeknownst to most Cavaliers fans, a clause exists in LeBron James's contract allowing all Clevelanders to become unrestricted free agents on that date. Although it is noble to stay with the home team for lower pay, Fab Neo feels that most residents, if given the opportunity, will take the first train out of town, even if it's at 3 a.m. With the Cleveland 3.1 plan, the city can maintain its population while providing the luxury of residence on another part of the globe, through the glory of broadband. The first step is the creation of the social media portal, Cleveland3.1.com. It is mandatory for all citizens to register on the site before December 31, 2009. By registering, a Cleveland citizen or transient web surfer becomes a citizen for life. A Clevelander can exercise his or her freedom of choice and relocate while still preserving hometown heritage. The downtown area will not be left to rot like others in Northeast Ohio. This shovel-ready Cleveland 3.1 plan calls for quick abandonment. Following the July 1st deadline, the city will proactively sell and lease existing buildings to other municipalities. For example, the Luxar in Las Vegas is planning a Cleveland-themed casino and entertainment complex. Why worry about bringing gambling to NEO when you can just bring NEO to gambling? 
The Luxor will purchase Tower City, Key Tower, and half of the Cleveland Brown Stadium for use in their new facility, Las Clevas. Other potential buyers include Lake Havasu, Arizona, who wish to place the Interbelt Bridge alongside their current attraction, the London Bridge. The city of Wuxi, China, has expressed particular interest in Cleveland's follow storefronts and factories. Often referred to as the Cleveland of China, Wuxi is very much an industrial boomtown, much like Our Fair Lady of Cleveland in the 1920s. Wuxi looks towards the future, and in that, it sees the Cleveland of today, a post-industrial wasteland. By September 1, 2010, those buildings that have not been sold will be raised. This systematic disassembly of Cleveland 1.0 will provide 25,000 new jobs for the demolition industry located in the outer rings. If all moves on schedule, Cleveland proper should be effectively cleared by October to be leveled and paved by the start of November. In earlier iteration of this project, Cleveland 3.0 crashed repeatedly due to interference from an outside factor, moisture. Per our information architects, an electrical circuit cannot function if moisture is present. It must be obliterated. FabNeo has persevered and has designed a solution that resolves the moisture issue and commodifies a neglected Cleveland resource. Lake Erie has long sat like a freeloader on our horizon. In a swift exercise in synergization and eco-branding, Fabneo has negotiated a contract with Zephyr Hills Natural Spring Water Company. Lake Erie will be displaced into a 700-foot-tall water tower containing all 116 cubic miles of water. This monolith will become a physical brand identity of Cleveland. Water will be filtered and sold at a premium to the cities of Detroit and Youngstown. The mighty Cuyahoga will be drained and reappropriated with fiber optic cable, creating a literal revenue stream right through NEO, the Time Warner cable info stream. This plan will connect 1.2 million people while creating 23,000 new jobs. And that is essentially the crux of Cleveland 3.1, connections and jobs. Through this social media portal, we will connect millions and eventually billions of consumers to our virtual NEO. Cleveland's population and revenue will skyrocket. City pride will be at an all-time high, buttressed by victories by the Browns 3.1 in the Tecmo Super Bowl. By the summer of 2011, the last drop of Lake Erie will be secured behind sturdy steel and the last bit of rogue topsoil tamed beneath asphalt returning Cleveland to its natural state. Its population, dispersed throughout the globe, will signify the future of urbanity. Cleveland will disseminate like a computer virus into the third generation of internet tech. Cleveland 3.1